Hello, my name is Karks82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizons Season 2. I am just processing some stuff down here, and that is the Monazite, uh, because I want the Phosphate out of it, and Rare Earth will take as well. Um, but yeah, I hit a bunch of that. I need Phosphate, and I didn't feel like going to... Don't worry. Yeah, uh, I didn't feel like going to moving the miner. I don't even remember where the miner is. Where is it? Oh, right. Ganymede. Platinum. I think it. Uh, we're done. It's not not doing it anymore. So um, I could technically move it. The problem is this tricalcium phosphate stuff is kind of annoying. Um, it's either the overworld or t -Seti. Well, I don't really need something in the overworld at the moment. I mean, I could go drop it on an appetite vein. It would be set for ever, but then I'm just going to be getting, um, like iron and copper, which we just really don't need at the moment. So I'm kind of just processing this up. Hopefully we will get enough of what we need out of this phosphate goes down to one phosphorus so that is what we need and the reason i need that is for the indium gallium that we're going to need for the assembler machine casings so i just throw 10 in there to see kind of where we're at and we're short a few phosphorus but other than that we pretty much have everything for the assembly line i don't know this feels like way easier <laughs> than uh the first time. I mean, yeah, okay, we're talking like 910 circuits for the 60 processor mainframes and stuff, but uh, we're actually going to probably need more of those, actually, because the, the actual... Oops, wrong one. Can't wait to get those either. Um, there it is. Throw that over there. The actual thing actually requires four of those as well, but it only requires IV. So we're going to need four of those. I think I think 11 long would be what we need. Basically, we need it long enough to craft up the, the LUV stuff. And I think the robot arm is probably the longest. Yeah, so nine, so it needs to be ten long. Nine inputs, then one output. I thought I remember doing eleven long, but maybe, yeah, see that? That's eight, nine, so we the tenth would be the output. The emitter. And then we can always, yeah, I guess we only need ten. All right, cool. That makes it one easier. Um, robot uh, conveyor. Also, I'm really not looking forward to automating this. It is. It just causes so much <laughs> stress because stuff doesn't work and it gets clogged up, and it's just. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of automating that in this pack, but it is what it is. Uh, okay, so 10, I guess, would be, and then, so we need 10 of these for 10 long, and then, so we need 13 more. So this is what we're looking at. We need 24 phosphorus dust. I think we'll get that out of that, hopefully. Hopefully we'll get enough phosphate for that, and then I won't have to worry about it until uh, maybe after the next rockets. Now, that actually does remind me, I think the... The heavy duty tier four. All right, so those only require four. Uh, that's not that's not that difficult. Okay, uh, that's not too bad. So yeah, I think we're gonna do thirteen more of those. Uh, I do need to set up. Ooh, we need a little more platinum for that. I do need to set this up, or I may just. It's already set up, but uh, I may just need to do that a couple times 
Uh, oops. I don't really want to set up a drawer for it because I don't need hundreds of these. This is just a big craft. I mean, I guess I don't really need to do all... <laughs> There's no reason for me to do it all at once. I keep doing that. There's no reason for me to craft up 13 all at once. I just enjoy doing that. All right, so we got that going. We got that going. Um, we are going to need to do the rhodium thing. So I think as I'm crafting up the assembly line, that is maybe something to start working on. So we'll get one of those assembly lines going. Make sure everything is working A-OK, -okay, which I think we are... I mean, I crafted up the other one with no issues, so we shouldn't have an issue there. We have a lot more power being produced for our blast furnaces. Oh, that reminds me of Ruridit or whatever that was. There we go. We got 64. There is that final quest. Loop bags. Yay. And I swear I'll get around to doing the enchanting. All right, let's see what this gives us. Conveyor belts, borosilica glass, yeah, that's easy. I'll take the conveyor modules, though. That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, good stuff, but nothing I really need right this second. So, all right, let me do that. Let me start figuring this out. This is a very long process. Um, I think we did get through most of the... Yeah, we got through all the platinum. What did we end up with after that? 2700 platinum. 1800 iridium. Osmium is probably the hardest one out of all of them. It looks like. Ruthenium, 2600. And then... Uh, yeah, the last one is rhodium. Oh, palladium. I think I have palladium... Yeah, I don't have it running at the moment. I didn't feel like there's any need for it to do that. All right, so I guess we'll throw the last of this here. So this will kind of be... This is going to be our platinum... The platinum line process, this whole area right here. And then that's like our oil. That's our charcoal, obviously. That's our chemical, uh, chemical reactor stuff, our tanks. PBI, item processing, or that's item processing, and that is ore processing. So I kind of like how I've done this. And this is just our basic crafting stuff. I like this. Um, and then we're actually, eventually, this, our power is probably going to go this way with fusion reactors when we finally do that. So that's going to be in the middle. I'm, I like how this is shaping up, actually. I quite like it, because we'll keep extending these that way. And then filling in here on the sides over here. And then, yeah, this will be fusion reactors right in the middle. All right, enough talking. Let me get some of this stuff crafted up. Okay, so I've gone ahead and sort of planned out what we're going to do for... The rhodium thing that we need to get done here and as you start breaking it down it it doesn't not as scary as it first appears you need a few energy hatches i think i need six we'll get that going did i do the yes there are those we're gonna need oops I need to get a... This needs to be in a better place, I think. I don't love how I've set this up, but oh well. So, yeah, here we go. This is what we're looking at. So it, once you break it all down, you're like, oh, that's, a, that's not too bad. I do need two mixers, though. Get that going as well. So, as always, we just kind of start over here. Um... I'm going to go left to right. I almost thought about going right to left because I didn't know how long this thing was. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Do, do our usual. I 
Actually, I just realized I crafted up a whole bunch more and I already had the energy hatches. No! <laughs> okay, cancel that. Totally forgot that we already had energy hatches from the, the thing. I basically only needed one more, I think. Uh, these are chemical reactors. I'll just place all these in here. Um, these right here are the mixers, and then that is a blast furnace. So, one, two, three, four chemical reactors, a blast furnace, two mixers. I mean, that's not too bad. Um, so we'll do... We'll get... We'll do all these. And this will go here. Right, and then maintenance hatches. Decided I want to just do them always on top. There's no reason to put them down below, and then I end up needing that, so then some of them are up top. Yeah. I think that works. And then just start... Filling it in. All right. So we're looking at over here. This is the first one we're going to need. So I need water and two input hatches. Oh, there's not a. That's kind of a pain. There is no. There is no big one. But, uh, molten potassium, we produce that like crazy. The only thing, uh, <laughs> I mean, we're not anywhere near a fusion reactor yet. And I can always just, I can always just extract it for, I was like, do we need to, no, I'm not going to save it. That um, I don't even know if we're going to use molten uh, potassium. So let's just get these going. Um, yeah, we'll do two, and then I have a few other ones that I need to sort out. There's no point in me doing. There's no point in adding this to my automatic part because every process is different. So I kind of just do those on the fly for however I need to do that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, water, do we have a, another reservoir? I can't remember. No. Get that going. All right, so basically we're going to turn this. No. We're going to get this. Did I screw that up? I did. Dang it, I need one more. I have to move this all down. <laughs> oh, no. No, I have to move it all down. Either that or I had two on the side. That. Yeah. Or I move it down too. Yeah, we're going to have to move it down. Dang it, I messed that up. I was thinking this is the first process, but we have to turn this rhodium sulfate that we have into this solution, and then we do that. And then it goes in the blast furnace. Gosh dang it. Okay, so I've gone ahead and moved the whole setup over. I am just hooking this up. 
It should be good on channels. I do like seed in the whole base. <laughs> it looks really cool. Alright, so we got our water going in there. This will be the rhodium sulfate. Go in there when I hook it up. Would probably help. I should probably actually we don't need to. Actually, we do. This is going to be a bit awkward, actually, now that I'm looking at this, because I need to pull out of here. You know what? We're going to have to, like, go behind, I think. Or this. No, we'll just do that. All right. Yeah, this is a bit funny. This output bus needs to go into the blast furnace, so that is kind of... It did get a bit funny, didn't it? The way I've set this up. Man, that looks weird. <laughs> I can always adjust it as needed. I just need to get conduits, is what we're going to do, I think. Yeah. I'll leave it for now. Okay, so that should put the rhodium sulfates into there. Yep, cool. Uh, all right, so that needs to be, just reminded me I need an export bus for, I think. Um, this needs a one. Man, I keep, I feel like I keep making a whole bunch of circuits and then I guess I keep using them with all these processes, the, the circuits that go in there. Exports. I think, oh wow. Are we getting low? Uh, we're getting low. Am I turning this all into, I may be turning it all into ingots. Why did that disappear? Didn't. Oh, that's probably being, hmm, all right, that's a bit of an issue. Just realized that is probably being input into, automatically into PBI, I think. All right, what did I say I needed? Circuit. Circuit of one. All right. Let's start getting this up and running, though. Um, all right, so fluid detector, obviously. Usual. Inverted. Thousand. Uh, water that and then we're gonna get our output patch yeah i'll put hatch there and that is hmm. you know what i'm actually going to throw another output hatch on there so if it wants to if it puts potassium in there even though I'm not saving that, I don't want to lose that. And then the Apple Bus is there for interface. Let's just double check everything is working. All right, so we'll just hit this on one time. Turn it off. All right, so yeah, that is what I didn't want to happen, which is why I did what I did. Um, I'll get rid of this potassium. Lock that. 
and then I can get rid of that. I don't think there's any need for that, but maybe I'll change my mind eventually. All right, and we'll put that back in there. All right, cool. So that will go in there. Let's turn on this. Enable with redstone. That will do that. All right, so that will go into there. Go back on. That is a really quick. Hmm. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. I just voided some of that. All right, that is an issue. I need a bigger hatch. I didn't think about that. All right, and here we go. I kind of rearranged it a little bit. I threw that hatch on the back to make a little more room. Could probably even use one less of these now. All right, so basically we are going to do that. We should be good in there. So we're going to mix this with zinc, which is going in the back, and that will produce two items, zinc sulfate and crude rhodium. And then we will pipe out one into the A system and one into here. All right, perfect. Um, that is a pretty quick recipe, as we can see as well. So go ahead and that. Yeah, 30. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. That can hold 256. Um. All right. Yep, there we go. Turns off. Perfect. All right. So we'll face that one that way. We'll face that one down. We don't need to see it. Um, and then I have put the hv hatch so that can hold 64 buckets but we're not going to fill it up that far so yeah and then this should with that i'll pull out of there hmm. i may need to uh <laughs> i may need to well once it gets up to the other one it'll start pulling out it's only pulling out the other one, and it's creating it faster than it's pulling out. All right, so that should be going to there. All right, so that is going to there. Uh, cool. Um, if I need to throw speed upgrades on there, I will or something. Oh, that could... No. I'll just leave it for now. Let's continue on. So we got we got that. Now we got the crowed rudium. We are going to forget that I need to put chlorine in that. Shoot. Okay, I rearranged this a, a little bit because I realized this is going to be producing it faster than this probably can process it. Um, so I didn't want it to void. But we got our rhodium stuff, we got our chlorine, and chlorine, and we have salt something right there. Um, ew. I have this. Everything should be hooked up to power. At least I think that will. Actually, don't know. But uh, all right, cool. So there is our rhodium salt. So we'll just go ahead and put that into the mixer. Get rhodium salt solution. Oh, that was really quick. Um, doesn't matter though. Uh, if it backs up somewhere, I don't want it to void, obviously. So we'll just. Do the usual. Okay, so that is going to process it. This is the backlog here is zinc. I am really uh I don't have a great solution for all the zinc that we actually need. Well there we're getting zinc from that. <laughs> so I'll probably have to process that down. But uh we're using it for TBI as well. We're using zinc. So and we're only getting one back from that. So yeah, that uh zinc is we're using zinc for a lot this stuff yeah pbi we use zinc in too so all right but we got it going 
that is producing that and then if this backs up that will turn off all right cool rhodium salt solution now we need to throw it in there with sodium nitrate sodium nitrate is its own thing i uh i guess i could do i don't know how i want to do this okay i don't love this but i didn't I couldn't figure out how I really wanted. I really should have had just another chemical reactor, but um, it wouldn't fit. Like I would have to extend this out, or maybe even build off back here. So I just threw this here temporarily, or not temporarily, but maybe I will change it eventually. Um, but yeah, so that's producing sodium nitrate. Also, I don't have a whole ton of sodium nitrate. I need to. I need to process this sodium hydroxide down into sodium or something like that. Uh, I threw it over here to remember. All right. So anyway, that, there we go. That goes in there. That is using quite a bit of sodium nitrate or sodium uh, nit nitration, nitric acid. There we go. All right. So that has filled up. That only puts it in that one. I wasn't sure if it would auto output into... All the things but it only puts in there so we got that uh so liquid hatch there we go into there so we got rhodium salt solution the sodium nitrate in the back with a one and that should do this yep all right, now this is going directly into the A system because that needs to be, this will be sifted. Rhodium nitrate goes into a sifter. So we'll send it into the big one. Um, question is, should I Should I put a item detector on there so we don't have any I mean it shouldn't unless the A system is down it shouldn't void this stuff but I like being careful so we'll just throw that on there like we usually do 32 I keep forgetting to put safe mode on Safe mode. Safe mode. Safe mode. All right, cool. So there we go. That is doing that, and that is producing the sodium rhodium nitrate. And I just realized I forgot to be doing. <laughs> I forgot to do the quest. No. All right. Well, I don't have a whole lot of time, so. I'm not going to worry about that now. So rhodium nitrate, the next part, just gets thrown in the sifter all the way over here. I definitely need a teleporter, a travel anchor. I didn't really want to have two in the... I really only wanted one per platform or building eventually. What am I doing? But... Uh... I definitely need one over there. All right, so rhodium nitrate will go in there and be sifted down into rhodium filter cake. Yeah. Just the way I've done this is a bit awkward. I should throw the travel anchor like right there. Or just, you know, wand of travel, but we'll get to that. All right. So where are we at? We're at that filter cake. Filter cake needs to go in here, I believe. Rhodium nitrate. Filter cake goes in a mixer with water again. Like, is there a way I could do it? Nah, we'll just do that. I'll have to do a reservoir and a thing in the back. 
All right, and just hooking up the last of this. I think we're good here. We'll see in a second. All right, so we finished all that. Uh, we got our filter cake, protein filter cake, turned into filter cake solution, just being exported in to the back there. I can fluid output that into there. The input hatch is right there. So this basically just turns with a two, it just turns it directly into whatever that, and that will come out of there. That one's an easy one. Yep. All right. And then we'll just do our usual. safe mode okay so there we go okay it's turned off and the, the last bit we need to get hydrochloric acid in here and then i think that is it yep there we go all right now this is going to produce two things i think and Chlorine and chlorine and ammonia, which we are not going to waste. Uh, but there is the rhodium. So we're created that stuff, hydrochloric acid, no circuit or anything. So in theory, when I hit this, if I do that, this should produce it. Yep. All right, so there we go. There is rhodium. That is our final thing here. Um, I'm going to kind of set up the, I'm gonna set everything up or kind of clean it up a little bit. I need to hitch uh, P2P tunnels to send this stuff back into the tanks. And uh, I think we can actually put that down because there is an interface underneath. We'll do that. Safe mode, I put safe mode on, yes. And there we go. Okay, so there we go. There's the process. Uh, looks very scary when you first start looking at it, but when you just break it down, it's uh, it's not that bad. Rhodium sulfate solution into uh, crude rhodium, and then we get the salt solution, and uh, we just process it all the way down, and we end up with. Rhodium. All right, I am going to finish up the quests. Oh, look at that. We already have 142. <laughs> I'm going to finish up the quests, and then uh, we'll start next episode. We'll be smelting up all of these. I'm pretty sure we can at this point. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, it does require the more kind of advanced gases, which shouldn't be a problem. But, uh, yeah, we will uh, we'll get that going next episode. So, anyway, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching. And have a good one.